Spanish man on Batman's River. Yes, sir. He's a rattlesnake in a bowler hat, a low down on the river rat. And my friend, it's obvious that he's bad, clean through. Take a look at his close set, beady eyes, and hear his king size line of lies. And it should come as no surprise. He's bad, bad news. He's bad, bad news. He's the bad. Say, when did you put that in? Right after the last King Gang holdup. It's fireproof and burglar-proof, and only I know the combination. Uh, mind turning around, please? in and have a look. <laughs> Solid. 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 <laughs> Watch. Excuse me, gentlemen, but we're coming into Omaha. Holy, here is your... 
your ship. Do you have to get off here? My childhood sweetheart's waiting. And she's been waiting for a long time. Well, you better hurry up. Oh, D. <laughs> you know, where you're going, you won't need this. Kansas City. Why don't you come with me to Chicago, Angel? I got big plans. I got little ones. House full of little ones. I think maybe I marry her now. So you're gonna blow all of that on one woman? Her name is Annie. She was made in heaven. <laughs> You look worried. I once knew an Annie in Kansas City. Anytime, Annie. Farewell, Farewell, old gang. Together we worked, but together we. We gotta ran. stick together, old pal. So we must part, and with a tear. Each will take with him a small souvenir. Of all the good times we had while it lasted. But now the very last safe has been blasted. We'll drink a toast to the old gang. As we remember sitting there. Sweet band. Come on. In with the new, out with the old, and may all our pathways be covered with gold. The time has come to end the refrain, and though to part tears at our hearts, we hope that we'll never. Oh, forgive me. I thought this was the dining car. Hold it, lady! Nice car. You must be a very important man. I wish there's pictures of me all over the place. What business are you in, Mr. King? Uh... <laughs> Banking. I transfer funds from uh, one place to another. What do you admire most in a woman? Well, actually, uh, all parts. What do you look for first in a man? Honesty. Uh, second. Since the 4th of July. That night, we were sort of... celebrating, Charlie and I. We could see the firecrackers going off from our bedroom window. Well, Charlie got a, a little too excited, you might say, and... well, he went out just like one of those firecrackers. Goodbye, Charlie. Hello, my turtle dove. You're my prisoner of love. A lady like you shouldn't be traveling alone. I'm not. So come, my turtle dove. Let's so you're the lucky man. Happy, darling. Ding. The gentleman would please remove his hat. There's a lady present. Dearly beloved, 
We are gathered here. Mrs. King. Has there ever been any insanity in your family, Mr. King? You can't do this to me! We're supposed to be married! How long do you think he'll have to be committed, Doctor? At least six months, Mr. King. Here, I want you to see that he has the best of... Uh, the best of care. <laughs> bye bye, darling. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And we will bill and coo if you become my true prisoner of love. What will you have? A beer. A big one. Make it three. I think he's crazy bringing us back to this town. We knocked that bank over twice, but three times. <laughs> Maybe he ain't coming. Maybe he never sent for us. Maybe it's a trap, and we have no guns. Let's go before they recognize us. Wait a minute. Go where? Who is paying? <laughs> Uh, we're waiting. Yeah, we got an, an appointment. With a very important man. Yeah. Listen, bums. Either you pay or I'll give you some. Party's upstairs, boys. Took your time getting here. How do you propose we split it, Shane? Half for me and half for you. Bull. There's one of you. There's eight of us. That gives you one share. And that makes it 11%. Or 2,750 bucks for you. It's my town. I sent for you. I won't take less than $5,000. Four. That's my final offer. It's a deal. Friends, to the dying day. Eso mismo. To the end. <laughs> to the end. Partner, what business are we in? Yeah, I can hardly wait to start working. Yeah, it's a new experience. What business are we in? Personal service. Personal? Sounds great. He's bad, bad news. 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 He's bad, bad news.
Are we going to start a revolution? The area. She'll be docking in about ten minutes. Boys, we're going to take a boat ride. Oh, uh, help yourself. Hey, where's everybody? Got nobody here. Hey, give me a drink, will you? Yeah, just one drink. Come on, give me a drink. One drink. Come give me a drink, will you? Yeah. Everything's arranged, Mr. King. I want them to hear it right from you, Senor Montero. <laughs> Come here. Tomorrow night at this time, <sighs> Mr. King, please. Listen. Tomorrow night at this time, the boat will have carried us to within 20 kilometers of the St. Joseph Mission. That's the place. That's it. That's what? Hey, King. Oh, the Mexican army's using the mission as an arsenal. All Senior Montero wants to do is blow it up. Why does he want us to blow it up? What the hell do we care if we're getting paid to blow it up, so we blow it up? Ah, uh, when do we get paid? Senior Montero says we get paid when we get back to the boat. Ten thousand dollars in gold. How do we know he'll pay? I know about Senor Montero. If he gives his word, that's good enough for me. Right, King? I've been expecting you. I did you dirty. Easy come, easy go. You're a big man to forgive so easily. Your need was greater than mine. My conscience still bothers me. You're too sensitive. I couldn't get you out of my mind. So you married Montero. I had to forget you. We never did have a honeymoon. I'm afraid I wasn't a very good wife. What makes you say that? 
I could have tried harder. True. Of course, I did get you this job. I still think you owe me a little, son. I often wondered what would happen if uh, we had a second chance. We will. On to getting familiar. We've met before. My husband is right out there. Then don't make it. <laughs> There's a ship. I am very thirsty. Can I, uh... Be quick about it. Down. Let go, you pig. I'll buy you a drink. I only drink with officers. I have gold. Move, old man. What's your name? Ange. I am Conchita. I think I like you. That's good. You got only one piece of gold? Maybe two? Maybe three, four, maybe even five. How would you like me to get real friendly? Maybe we could visit the church. That's the arsenal. Going there, you get your hair shut up. But we'll find a place. Conchita! Time to feed the animals. Having fun? Come up, let's go upstairs. I'm sure you'll like it. Go on. Go on. Not so fast. You pay me now all the money you've got, or I'll scream. Scream?
Would you like a kiss? I don't trust you. first. He came with the old shepherd. Who are you? Search him. Check the arsenal. Make him talk. Talk, my friend. Thank you. 
Passing us by, King. We only got an hour start. They'll be catching up with us. This is no place to make a stand. They better pick us up. Pilots on our payroll. <coughs> Don't you pull the trigger? We still need him. I can't swim. I ought to stay with him, King. I don't think that'll be necessary, Odie. Will it, Captain? to the American side. Yes, Your Excellency, and we will chase them on both sides of the river. If the American cavalry catches you, I will disown you completely. What do you say, Excellency? Even I may come useful to Mexico. If the revolutionaries had gold, you would be working for them. Yes, Your Excellency. You are nothing but a bandit. Uh, yes, Your Excellency. Remember, Canales, when the revolution is over, I promise to hang you. Yes, Your Excellency. Where's our 10,000, Alicia? There is no 10,000. It's a million or nothing. Is that good, King? Okay, I level with you. Why do you think we had to blow up the arsenal? To win the revolution. Hmm? Stupid. The guns you destroyed, they will have to be replaced by the Mexican government, right? Right, right. Where's the million dollars? Yeah, give it to us again. The Mexican government is sending a million dollars to El Paso to buy new guns. The Mexican government is sending a million dollars to El Paso to buy new guns. And we grab a million. 
And we grab the million. That's good. How? Montero is a revolutionary, but he's also an agent for the Mexican government. By taking the check and cashing it for himself, he serves the revolution. That even makes him patriotic. Exactly. And then we split 50-50. 50, 50, 50. Great. Great. Where do we meet Montero? Boris Landing. So why do you need us? I don't trust him. That's bad. Your own husband? Not for a million dollars. She doesn't trust her own husband. Get it? Boys. I think we've been stuck in again. Mr. Montero here. Number three. Is he alone? There's another man with him. Dreaming of $25,000? Cut it, Odie. I guess he had the money. Mr. King! I hear you. I do not wish to fight with you! I can tell that. I come in. Here I come. Come on. And you got the check? He didn't have it on him. You know about the check, too. Everyone knows all these dead and no money. I would like to make you a deal, Mr. King. I already got a deal. Look. I'm a bandit, and you rob banks, right? Get to the point. So, we both want the same thing. Other people's money, right? So you and I are on the same side. We are... amigos. <laughs> oh, listen, amigo. Who does that money come from? The Mexican government. And who is the Mexican government? The Mexican people. And who is the Mexican people? I am a Mexican person. And who are you? My friend, mi amigo. <laughs> so what can I do for you, amigo? Listen, that's Nora Montero. She's not to be trusted. A bad woman. You give her to me. And I'll find the money, okay? How will you do that? You know... Yeah. I'd rather do it myself. Did you... did you catch him? We caught him. Is he dead? You're a widow again. Oh, I'm just bad luck. You mustn't blame yourself. I'll never marry again. Don't punish yourself. I'm better off dead. But you mustn't give up hope. If only I, I had one good reason to go on. 
You've got millions of good reasons. You had a check on him? I'm not looking for a change of underwear. You know damn well he never had that check. You figured that we kill Montero and the bandits would kill us. You could blow with a whole million and leave two dead husbands. Never figured Canales would die. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. He never wanted me, he wants you. To marry me? No. The money. He says you have the money. Search me. I will. You wouldn't. You stay here. Shot. I slugged him. He was steering us right into that bandit's arms. Slugged him pretty hard. Stiff. Like a board. Now, don't tell me you're the chambermaid. All right. I'm not the chambermaid. What are you looking for? A man. You can do better than that. <laughs> I'm looking for Montero. You're looking in the wrong place. He's dead. He is alive and he is on this boat. Honey, if the Montero I saw wasn't dead, he was putting on one hell of an act. <laughs> the Montero you saw was an impersonator. What makes you say that? You didn't find the bank trap on him, did you? What the hell are you talking about? Does everyone know about the bank draft? You can't keep a million dollars a secret, Booby. I want to look into your eyes. Why? What is it this time? Where did you hide the real Montero? He's back in Mexico. You're lying again. Where is he? Safe from you. Safe from me? You worried about him? He got what he wanted. Then he staked you out as a hostage and let you sweat it out. And you're worried about him. It bothers you, doesn't it? A man like that needs to be shot. Because of the money or because he's my husband? Not in there. Getting stuffy in here. You popped up a second too soon. You gonna shoot me, Mr. King? You killed the man in the closet. Why don't you take your turn now? Me, I didn't kill anybody. A common acquaintance of ours must have killed that man you refer to. Politics. You're still a killer. A man who kills for political reasons is not a killer. He's an assassin. I don't like to associate with killers. Now I'll trouble you for that bank draft. I don't have it. Where is it? It's a little complicated. Make it simple. Perhaps you noticed the Wells Fargo office at Boda's Landing. Saw the place. That's where I cast the draft. Had the money shipped to Laredo. Shipped to who? Why, to me, of course. Who else would I trust? That's a gun you're reaching for, Montero. Go ahead. It's not. It's, it's my receipt. 
clearly states that the receiver must be positively identified as Francisco Montero. You see? I told you he was safe from you. Okay, Montero. We'll reach Loretta together. We are not going to reach Loredo. Not by boat. Engine stopped running a while back. We're just drifting with the current. You had to hire your ex-husband. When I married him, he was a pussycat. The engine's wrecked. Somebody threw in a monkey wrench. You know the river angle. Can we make it to Laredo? With our steam, we'll be drifting so slow the bandits can ride in and take us. Tell Odie to stay for the Mexican side. Okay. That's a mistake. You'd rather go to the bandits on the American side. That would be a fatal error. Oh, that's a chance we'll have to take, sweetheart. Surrender, amigo. You are a prisoner of the revolution. You have all been denounced. For what? For enemies of the revolution, there is only one punishment. You can't mean her. This lady is my wife. She's my wife. A marital dispute. I'll settle it. Shoot the lady. Lieutenant, I want to speak to the commandant. You know the commandant? Colonel Fierro was my valet at the academy. Well, how times have changed. Yes, but for old time's sake, I think I shall ask the Colonel to have you shot. Well, if you're a friend of the Colonel... Hey! Enrique! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> we meet again. Once more on the wrong side. Ah. Yeah. There you have the prisoner. Huh? <laughs> uh, you forgive me. Uh. I know you. Stop the firing squad! Where did we meet? Maybe you saw my face on a poster. In America, he's a famous bandit. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much are you worth? Oh, $10,000, last I heard. <whistles> mm -hmm. And uh, your friends? 25000 altogether. Package deal. I think you're holding out on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luis. Mm. Luis, how many times must I tell you not to interrupt when I'm interrogating? I forget, Your Excellency. Oh, remember. Remember. Hmm? Oh! Oh! Dolores, querida. <laughs> Tell me again about the one million dollar bank draft payable in Laredo. Hmm? I delivered the chickens. Don't break the eggs. <laughs> Smart girl. Eh? <laughs> mm. 
Lock him up. Merci. Enrique. Do I know you? Not yet. Some coffee. Oh, I'm starved. I haven't had any breakfast. What would you like? Uh, Colonel, can I shoot him now? Um, excuse me. Paco, how much can I collect for you? Hmm? Like yourself, I am poor, a servant of the people. <laughs> to be poor is nothing to be ashamed of. On the other hand, it's nothing to be proud of. Paco, to stay alive in these times, you must have some value. Like me. You must have something important to say. Hmm? I am the goose that lays the golden eggs, as to lures. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Of course. What did I say about him, Dolores? That's Paco, my old friend Paco, huh? I used to polish your boots at the academy, didn't I? Lock him up with the gringos. Senor? Remember, Enrique, no matter who wins this revolution, you will end up shining my shoes again. <laughs> Dolores. Now, how can we do business? What do you admire most in a woman, Colonel? Fidelity. And second? Don't you think we'd all be better off if we behaved in a more civilized manner? What's that mean? What the hell does she see in you? I'm afraid you could never understand. I think I'm gonna do it now. Now, wait a minute. Tell you what, Montero. You talk about being civilized. I got a proposition for you. We share. We share what? Why, we share everything, including the wife. With all the money that we're going to get in Laredo, we're planning to live in Paris. Parlez-vous Francais? You hear what he called you? You're going to stand for... You see, you'd have a language problem. In Paris, they don't drink booze, they drink wine. To you, that'd taste like perfume. The only excitement is an evening at the opera. On Sundays, it's a stroll in the Bois de Boulogne. The park, to you. Where you live it up by... Enrique. Huh? Do you know the general who is besieging us? Duarte? <laughs> we went to the academy together. Is he rich? Oh, his family owns half of Mexico. Is he married? Oof. Why? The battle is going badly, Colonel. Last night you said you loved me. Let's be practical. What do you want me to do? Surrender. To Duarte? Never! I used to polish his boots at the academy. Do it for me, baby.
Deegan cannon emplacements on the south and west. Where's the colonel? Whoever built this fort is stupid. It's a prison for anybody inside. I promised to release you. I didn't promise a safe journey to Laredo. Where is Montero? Well, I told you to watch him. Why the hell didn't you watch him yourself? Worried about me, gentlemen? Look what I've found. What is it? It's what it looks like. An old map of the fort. Put your foot on that corner. You, over there. Colonel, if you please. Now, what do you see? Uh, looks like a tunnel. Where does it lead? To the river. And where does it start? In the church. What does that suggest to you? Come now, Colonel, even though you were at the foot of the class, that should mean something to you. I've got it. He's got it. If the well runs dry, we can get water from the river. It's an escape route. It's an escape route. That's what I said. Afraid of the dark, my dear? The only thing she's afraid of is poverty. Montero. Kick him off. Kick him off. Coming, honey. Be right with you, Jesse.
How am I doing, Papa? Just like your dear mama. 